Hi, my name is Cold Bear, and let's start with Immortals of Avium. This is a single-player, first-person magic shooter that puts you in the role of wizard as you join an elite order of battle majors to save the world on the edge of the abyss. Well, as always, knowing you, the world is doomed, but you can try to play this game anyway. With legions of soldiers on both sides, you must uncover the mysteries of the world's troubled past and find if there is any hope for saving the future. Here you'll master three schools of magic and unleash your mighty spells on everyone who puts pineapple in the potato salad. At least, you you should. The combat here is fast, fluid, easy to learn, interesting to master, and you will be constantly rewarded for clever chained attacks and well-timed counters. The game is not flawless, but people are praising the fact that this is a full release, not some puny early access. It rewards you for exploring, has new mechanics, and it is beautiful in general. Just renew your graphics card drivers, or you will dive in the world of pain and suffering. First Person Puzzle Bundle well, this is definitely one of the best deals for puzzle lovers, for various brainiacs and in general people smarter than me. So for buying these 5 discounted puzzle games together you will get an additional 25% discount, which basically means that you will get one of these games for free, or to be honest almost two of the cheapest ones for free, which somehow sounds like an even better deal. The Witness and the Talos Principle will squeeze all the brain power you have, Manifold Garden with its overwhelmingly positive reviews will boggle your mind, Super Heart will pretend that it's a shooter game, but every encounter is staged, and you will have to find the right way to solve the staying alive puzzle, and about super liminal people on Steam say that this is a brain melting experience. Anyway, all 5 games are great. This bundle doesn't try to hide some shitty games inside. A great deal for every puzzle fan. Firewatch this is one of the most immersive games I have ever played. Firewatch is a single-player first-person mystery set in a Wyoming wilderness. The year is 1989. You are a man named Henry who has retreated from his messy life to work as a fire lookout in a lush forest. An especially hot and dry summer is a great thing everywhere, except where you work. One smoking cigarette butt or one shard of broken glass and this beauty can become a real hell on earth in seconds. This is a game for adults with adult conversation themes. Games. Despite that it is colorful and beautiful and all, it's not made for kids in any way. Spellforce 3 Fallen God well, most strategy and RPG fans know Spellforce games, but it seems that this one is somehow forgotten. And it is a beautiful game. It is an absolutely standalone title. You don't need to play or even know anything about Spellforce at all to enjoy it. The stories are absolutely separated, just like you and your ex right now. I would say that Fallen God is a hybrid between Warcraft 3 and party-based real-time RPGs. You will be traveling around extremely huge maps with your heroes, and from time to time you will have to build a base and attack unsuspecting enemies, pillage their puny villages and eat their children. Well, maybe not the latter, but who knows, some of your heroes look pretty ravenous to be honest. Terminator Resistance the game is a first-person shooter set during the Future War scenario that was only glimpsed in the first two iconic movies. The machines are destined to lose, but at what cost? So basically here you will run and gun or sneak and hack through Skynet's defenses, level up your skills and explore a post-apocalyptic world for scraps to trade and craft, also interact with other survivors and change their fates. People on Steam are saying that this is the real Terminator 3, as it should have been. It contains an amazing atmosphere, also interesting story and developed characters. Most people are recommending to buy it for the full price without any doubts, but boy oh boy, aren't you lucky today? 60% discount is a treat you may want to feast on, that's for sure. Ancestors Legacy this is a real-time strategy game influenced by historical events of the Middle Ages. Ancestors Legacy combines resource management and base building with large-scale squad-based battles across vast battlefields. It is all rendered in great detail with Unreal Engine 4. You'll experience medieval bloodshed and can enjoy a cinematic action camera that puts you right in the middle of the battle. People on Steam are saying that Ancestors Legacy is easy to learn and it's like chess. It involves a lot of strategy, so the more you play, the better you become. Basically here a lot of options to crush the enemy lie in the plain sight, but only the master strategists can see them all. So the more you play, the easier the game will seem. Or not, you know, we all have our limits and sometimes our limit is below the requirements of a victory. 
This epic platformer has won the Game Awards in its category in 2018. Overwhelmingly positive reviews still decorate its Steam page. This is a narrative-driven single-player adventure with a charming cast of characters and touching story of self-discovery. You'll climb a massive mountain, teeming with 700 screens of hardcore platforming challenges and devious secrets. If you have a nostalgic itch for platformer games, Celesti will scratch it without a doubt. And people on Steam are saying that this game will teach you how relaxing it is to die over and over again. And yeah, here you will die more than in Dark Souls, but that is okay, your mental health is strong, right? Uh, mental health who? I, I don't know, never had one, shut up. Just Cause 3 the Mediterranean Republic of Medici is suffering under the control of a dictator with a huge appetite for power. So this is some kind of Mediterranean Belarus and you have to show them what freedom looks like. And here it looks like death and explosions of dictators, troops and allies. Here you will be given complete vertical freedom. Skydive, base jump and free dive in an open world the size of a thousand square kilometers. So you can create chaos in all of this land and have a lot of fun. People on Steam are saying that the game is very fun and has almost zero boring moments. The grappling hook and the wing suit will help you to fly around and cause havoc. And this experience will keep you entertained for hours. To be exact, about 18 hours of your boring life will be made better by this game. Sands of Aura this is a wonderful hack and slash RPG, but with huge influence from the Souls like genre, meaning that you will die a lot, and then you will die even more, and that, at least for me, takes a lot of fun away. Game has really beautiful graphics, and despite it's a hard game, you can control your hero quite easily and kill some monsters without a sweat. Well, after some practice. To be honest, after a lot of practice. And for some of you, practice may not help at all. Well, that escalated quickly. Anyway, I'm kidding. The game is not insanely hard, but it will challenge you, especially the bosses. Otherwise, it's a nice game. Grounded one of the smallest open world games. You can only freely move around in your yard of several square meters. The trick is that the game follows the best traditions of famous movie. Honey, I shrunk the kids. And here you are literally shrunk to the size of an ant. So actually this world is vast, beautiful and dangerous place. You know, almost every predator is bigger than you. Probably a dog peeing on some flower can literally drown you in a way that you wouldn't want to be carved on your tombstone. So here you will explore, build and survive together in this first person multiplayer survival adventure. So can you thrive alongside the hordes of giant insects fighting to survive the perils of the backyard? Well, alone probably not, but if you have some friends or a loving mother-in-law, you can play the game together and have lots of fun. The rating on Steam hovers around 90% and that is always a sign of a good game. Ashes of Singularity you will battle for control of the galaxy as the advanced human race or their eternal foes, aliens named the Substrate. You will dive into massive battles with thousands of units in huge, really detailed maps and that distinguishes this game from many other RTSs. Although keep in mind that these amounts of units in Ashes of Singularity require massive computing power. Not as massive as your mama. You can play the game alone or online with friends in ranked or unranked multiplayer mode or play it by yourself against a powerful non-cheating AI in skirmish or campaign mode. That is actually great, a well-made and, just like your wife, let's hope, non-cheating AI is kinda rare because it's hard to make. So developers tend to cut it out and replace it with a fake AI instead that gets unlimited resources and can see you through the fog of war. It's like giving see-through closed glasses to the random pervert. But not this time, Ashes of Singularity doesn't cut corners. Or AIs. People on Steam are saying that the game has a fun level editor and the amount of lasers is in never too high. Strange Horticulture you will find and identify new plants, pet your cat, speak to a coven, or join a cult. Use your growing collection to influence the story and unravel dark mysteries. You are a citizen of a charming town surrounded by hag-infested forests and rugged mountains. You are the horticulturist, owner of a local plant store. As a cast of colorful customers come by your shop, you are quickly thrust into an occult mystery stretching back hundreds of years. Explore the lands beyond your store to find new plants, but be careful. The dark woods and lakes are not always friendly to a simple herbalist. You might discover powers beyond your wildest nightmares or lose your mind completely. Game has an overwhelmingly positive review score, it's a true masterpiece. If you like interesting, non-cliché stuff, it's a must-play for you. And now, thank you for watching and don't forget that in my channel you can find hundreds of videos like that with new ones released almost every day. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye!